All right, so in this video, I want to go over a few updates, stuff that has happened uh, during the last week, things that I have been doing, and a lot of different stuff. You can see all of it here on the right hand side in the Skitty Notes app. But let's go over each one of the different things. First of all, I just want to thank the supporters. I always forget to do this, but I have different supporters. YouTube members, for example, I have um, some, as you can see here, in the two memberships, this YouTube Discord one and the Kofi one. Thanks for the super chats as well. And I also want to thank the people that have sent Kofi donations. I have them listed here. So again, just wanted to say thanks to everyone. There's a few things that have been going on. If uh, we come here to the weekends section, this is the video that I'll be covering today. So first of all, I'm back on the Red Pro switches, as you can see here. I made a video a little while ago in which I explained why I switched from the switches that I had before, which were the Red Pros, and I switched to the Plum Blossoms. But it turns out it didn't work out for me. I started feeling pain in my fingers, a lot of pain in my joints. And the reason is these Plum Blossom switches are a little bit stronger right? They require a little bit more force. And for me personally, it did cause issues. It did cause pain. I'm not saying that that is going to be the case with you. I think I'm an exception. I don't know if there's something wrong with my hands or something, but the only keyboard I have ever used is the Apple Magic Keyboard. I don't know, maybe my hands are weak and just cannot stand stronger switches. So I created an article about this. It's listed here. I also have a video about this as well, but if we scroll down here in the article, we'll be able to see, for example, that the difference is not too much. 45 gram fours versus the 35 gram fours on the Red Pros. Personally, it affected me. Let us know in the comments if you experienced this or not. I think I'm going to be purchasing a set of cherry blossoms, which are softer, are the ones shown here. 30 gram fours, they're silent. So I can compare them with the Red Pros and see which ones I like better. So stay tuned so you can see updates on that. The next item that I have here on the list is the opened up Discord. Um, this was not open to the public, but I did open it a few days ago. So if you want to join Discord, I'm going to leave this link in the video description. We have quite a few members now. Let me see how many. I don't know where to see that, to be honest. Uh, but last time I checked, I don't know, it was like 60 something members. There's a lot of people here asking questions, helping out. So if you want to join, if you have questions, if you need assistance with something, or if you just want to chat with other people, make sure you join and just leave your comments there. All right. So the next item on the list, as you can see here, is that I have been streaming for like a week now. I have done it like five, seven times. Don't remember exactly how many. I have some free time now. I'll let you know why in a little while. But um, yep, I've been doing that. So I've been doing it daily. I just, uh, as you see here, play Skyrim during the stream. That's a game that I enjoyed like around 10 years ago. I missed it a little bit. So I'm playing around from time to time. If you want to join the live stream and just hang out there. Another thing that I have been doing in the live stream um, is creating some blog post articles. I have a lot of videos that I don't have an article for. And there's a lot of people that is not into watching videos, but they prefer to read stuff. I'm just creating the articles for those videos during the stream. Let me quickly show you some of the ones that I have created. Let's see, linkarsu.com. Here is my blog post. So if we come here, you're going to notice that I created um, this article, this one, this other one, this, this, and yesterday I created this other one, all of them during stream. So if you want to go and check these out or join me in the live stream, feel free to do so. What else? Notice that in Kitty, I have this movements of the cursor, similar to the way that it moves in Neobite. This is a recommendation by Carlos Medina during the live stream. He just let me know about this. He shared the code in Discord, I applied it, and it works. So thanks, Carlos. I appreciate it. 
the next update that I have here on the list is that I was laid off like a week ago. It was due to reorg changes. And that's the reason why I have been streaming in the past week, because I have some free time. I always thought about streaming, but I couldn't do it during work hours. I couldn't do it before or after because I was too tired. So yeah, I'll keep on streaming for a few more days. We'll see how it goes. How do I feel about all this? I had been working at that company for seven years. I think it was about time already. So I guess it's time to move on. I'm not applying to jobs yet, but I think I will have to start doing that soon. If you know about a position that I could be a fit for, and if you just want to recommend me, I'm going to leave my uh, resume here. The link is going to be in the video description. So just in case you want to help out. What else do we have here? Um, my dot files are almost at 512 stars. So if you have used my dot files in the past, and if you have found them useful, just get to this page, give them a star. All right, so that's something else that I wanted to share. Let me mark this as done. So what is next? What's going to happen with this channel? What's going to happen with the live streams? I honestly don't know yet. First, I got to get a job. And I think I will keep making videos. I don't see a reason to stop yet. Could I live off of YouTube? No, not yet. Not even remotely close. I just get pennies from YouTube. But maybe someday. Who knows, right? Am I going to continue doing live streams? I think that for a time I will. If I get a job, I think it's going to be a little bit more complicated. Because I'm not going to have the time to do so. I'm going to continue providing support in Discord. So I hope I see you there. Of course, that I'll keep playing around with NeoVim, macOS customization, and all that good stuff. So I'll keep sharing all of that in videos. There's a very interesting idea shared by someone in a YouTube comment about the Yabai Scratchpad. I'm going to look into that, and I'll probably release a video on that in the next few days. What else? If you want to support me, I'm going to leave my Ko-fi link in the video description. Also, if you want to become a YouTube member, if you come here to this link, I'm going to leave it in the video description. But if you come here, you will be able to see the memberships that I have in YouTube. If you want to become a member only Discord, which is the one that supports me the most, you can click on this link. And my plan in the near future is to release some members only tutorials. Well, not tutorials, but courses, we could say. Kubernetes, Docker related stuff. So if you want to help out, you can do this here. All right, so I think I covered everything that I needed to cover the updates for this week, which have been quite a few. If you have questions, remember, always join Discord. You can ask them there. If you're still here, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.